Hey guys, Stefan van Jarsveld here with fxhippo.com. Uh, the latest tutorial that we have here is Advanced Rotoscoping Techniques with Mocha. So what we'll be looking at is how to roto in Mocha using the Mocha Shape plugin into After Effects um, to bring in the roto shapes, tracked roto shapes. Cut out the background, replace it with this video, which will be tracked to the background. Um, we'll then extend the sky, just a bit of color correction and a vignette. All seems pretty quick and easy, but it isn't, so pay attention. Um, let's have a look at the final product. Alright guys, so we start in After Effects. Um, I'm back to CS5 today. I'm just in that mood, you know. Um, so what we have is our Lighthouse window footage. Then we have our background footage here. A boat. You should drag the lighthouse window footage down to the new comp button. Okay, so the composition is 1920 by 1080. So there we have it. All right, so now it's ready uh, to receive anything that we bring over from Mocha. So let's go over to Mocha. All right, so you come up here to create a new project and you import the clip for lighthouse footage. So desktop, raw video assets, lighthouse window. Yep, that's the one. Okay, we choose this destination. Um, let's change it to mock of scratch and name it number two. Okay, all right, so there's four things that we're gonna track. We're going to track this fence to track the background. Um, we're going to track this side of the wall, and we're going to track this side and the bottom. So let's track the background, the easiest part. So come up here to create Xblind Layer 2 and create a rough shape around the square fence. Come down here to Motion, unselect Shear, and let's track forwards. Okay, so the timeline is blue, so the fence has been tracked. Um, let's just have a look at that track with stabilize on. Turn stabilize on. It looks pretty good. The square stays around the fence. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's come over here and rename that BG Fence Track. Okay, let's shut that off all three okay so now we're ready to track the bottom wall so repeat the same processes with the fence create x bar layer 2 um, so now select uh, let's select about that much looks good so just so it gets some of the side as well okay come down here to shear turn it off just have translation scale rotation and let's track. So I started, okay, this is a common mistake that you might make. Um, you start, well, it's not really a mistake, it's just how you choose to do it. I created the X-Blind layer here on the timeline. That means I have to track backwards to the beginning and I have to track forwards to the end. So I'm gonna track backwards first. Okay, so that layer has now officially tracked all the way through, forwards and backwards. Um, again, you can check it with Stabilize. Uh, it looks pretty good, so let's go from the beginning and just press play. So the camera is moving a lot, but that's all right. That shape stays right on the wall. All right, so let's rename that Bottom Wall Track and turn it off completely. Lock it. All right, next thing we want to do is track the left wall here. So let's take our uh, x bar layer tool and this is where mocker really works because this plane is completely different to this plane here so it's two different perspective faces so what you want to do is take the create x bar layer tool and just include that in the track and then right click to finish the shape okay so again turn on perspective 
So let's track backwards first. All right, pretty happy with that. Just shift a little bit. Okay, and then we track forwards from that point. All right, so the left-hand wall is now done tracking. Let's just turn on stabilize, go to the beginning of the timeline, and let's just watch that. So there is a bit of a shift there, scale-wise. Overall, the track stays pretty solid. The shape stays snug around the wall. All right, so I'm happy with that. So let's rename that left wall track. Okay, and turn that off. Okay, so now we're going to track the right-hand wall. So for this wall, we're actually going to track it a bit differently. It's going to, it's going to mean that we're going to need to adjust, um, adjust our mocker shapes, our rotos rotoscoping a bit more, but in the end, that's going to give us a better result. So go to the beginning of the frame of the timeline, zoom out by holding down Z and dragging out with left mouse click. So let's create a new X-spline layer. Um, it's going to look a bit different, so we're going to go down here, down to the bottom, around like that, around there, there, okay. Because We're doing this because as, as we track forward, you'll see that this wall gets completely lost in perspective. So um, we're not doing a perspective track, we're doing a translation scale rotation track, because it's not really tracking a, s a single square surface like we were here, it's just tracking a shape now. All right. So let's track forwards. All right, so that's done tracking now. And if you um, just press play and begin the timeline, you'll see that it's quite a solid track. All right, so we've done all these tracks for a reason. The BG fence track in the back here that was to attach the eventual background replacement video that we'll be putting in there. Um, the bottom wall track is a bit different. This is going to be for one of the mocha shapes, for the bottom wall line here. The left wall track is going to be for a mocha shape, which is going to cut out the left wall. And this one here, let's rename that right wall track. This is going to be for the mat line that's going to come along the right hand wall. So the only actual data that we're going to export tracking wise will be the BG fence track. So let's go ahead and export that to After Effects. So click on the layer, export tracking data, use After Effects transform data, copy to clipboard. Go over to After Effects, beginning of the composition, layer, new, null object. Click on the null object and command V. So press U on the keyboard, click away, click on anchor point, delete, right click, reset. All right, so now we have our tracked fence in the background there. You can see the null object is stuck to it. All right, so that's the only tracking data that we're going to export to After Effects. Let's rename that BG fence. Track. All right, so let's go back to Mocha. All righty, um, that was part one of Advanced Rotoscoping with Mocha. Click here for part two or here for part three. And if you're watching this as part of a playlist, they'll play after each other. Cheers.